There are many reasons to commission a painting. Here's an artist who can give you two for the price of one. Welcome to Elian Markov, the founder of Art and Giving, the language of business. Thank you. It's good to be here. Nice to have you here. How Thank does you. Art and Giving work? So Art and Giving is a gallery that is a non-profit gallery. So if you're an artist and you're represented by a gallery, and if, you, if they sell a piece of your art, usually you keep 50%. The gallery keeps 50%. In our case, the artist still keeps the 50%, but the other 50% is directly allocated to pediatric cancer research, uh, to a 501c3 public foundation. And unfortunately, there's a personal reason why it's benefiting pediatric cancer. All this started with the Rachel Molly Markov Foundation, which is in memory of my daughter who died of cancer when she was nine years old. So. This is in her memory, but the mission of the gallery is to raise money for pediatric cancer research, to help other families, other children, but also to promote the arts. And we've been very lucky to partner with some companies, some real estate companies, life science companies, uh, companies in the financial sector who have new buildings, new offices, and they partner with us. They usually buy the art or they lease the art. So we have companies like Alexander Real Estate, Biomed Realty, Sanofi Genzyme, uh, Pfizer, uh, Novartis. All these companies give money to the foundation, buy the art, rent the art, and they use their business expenses, not their philanthropic expenses. So it's a win-win in a sense that we augment the amount of money available for pediatric cancer research. Where does the money go? As we know, the NIH doesn't fund too much seed funding. So the money we raised uh, was anywhere from 50000 to 200000 in the past couple of years per year. We give money to seed funding. So we reach out to researchers who are doing very innovative work, researchers who cannot get any money from the NIH but have very promising ideas. So one of our biggest successes was we funded uh, a researcher at the Stanford Medical school who was able to use the money that we gave him to prove a concept. And that concept allowed him to gain a multi-million dollar grant from the NIH to continue. So our hope is all that research is going to advance um, finding cures for children and their families. And how do you find your artists? Okay, so the artists at the very beginning, I used to belong to the SOA Guild in Boston. So when I had a sujo, I was written up in the local paper at one point, and artists came to me and said, Eliane, I love the idea of what you're doing, fundraising. I'd love to donate a painting next time you do a fundraiser. So many artists said that to me. I said, wait a second, I'm not really looking for art. I have plenty of mine that I can't sell. <laughs> so why don't we try to approach companies and see if they would consider using the art either for gifts to their employees, their executives, their board members, or just to decorate their offices. So we started with about seven artists back in 2009. We now have close to 55, 56, and it's a word of mouth. I used to take anyone who was interested in joining the Gallery of Art and Giving. Now we have a couple of curators who help me identify who should be on the gallery, who should not, uh, what resonates with our clients, what doesn't resonate. So. We have, uh, we have a process. What do you see as your biggest challenges over the next four to eight months? <sighs> biggest challenges is really attracting another two or three big clients. So we would love to have more clients like Alexandria, Biomed, Raymond James, uh, you know, Sanofi Genzyme, Novartis. We'd love to have some of these clients. So the biggest challenge is not just to attract them because everyone likes the model, is really to try to get them to engage with art and giving, either buying art or understand the whole idea that we run as a gallery. We're not on Newberry Street, we're not in New York, we're not in California, we're not in Santa Fe, but we're online and we have physical space in Cambridge donated to us by Biomed to exhibit some of the art. Equity Office gave us space for a whole year at 100 Summer Street to exhibit the work of many of our artists. So it's been amazing. Uh, Equity Office, for example, um, allowed us to expand and go beyond the Boston area. Uh, they had three lobbies they were decorating in the Chicago area. So they put us in contact and we were able to adorn three lobbies remotely uh, with artists that we happen to have in Chicago. Elian, thank you. It's my pleasure. Elian Markov, founder of Art and Giving.